Hi, this video is a brief tutorial on how to use Artifact. I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with a blank slate. And I'll explain things as we go. What you're seeing right here is two layers, one on top of the other. The bottom layer is canvas. And I'm going to turn on the move mode and show you here it is. That's canvas. And on top of it is input. And you can move it as well. These two can be moved independently from each other. So input is always on top, canvas is always on the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load a picture into canvas. So on the left here there are some buttons. There's new canvas, there's load, etc. So I'm going to load into canvas and I'm going to go to my own Facebook photos. You could go into photo albums if you have pictures in there. But uh, I'm going to go into my own photo albums and I'll pick a picture. And here are all my albums. I'm going to go into Profile. And I'll find a picture. Here's a picture of me on a ferry in New York. So now I'm going to load uh, a different picture into the input layer to paint with. And here I'm going to tap Input button. And you have uh, selections of uh, various cameras, Facebook albums, or your albums. And I'm going to choose um, a picture from my albums. I have a picture of a kitten. So I'm gonna. So now you see the uh, picture of a kitten is on top of the canvas. I can move it the way I did before by tapping the appropriate move button. Uh, by the way, you can double tap it. It uh, centers it on screen. So here's my kitten. I'm gonna position it in such a way that it looks like it's sitting on my shoulder. And you can pinch and rotate. Now that's where I want it. Now I want to paint it, but it's way too small for my fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the lock button, which locks the two layers together. And then when I'm pinching, it's going to pinch both of them, really. So it's really equivalent to zooming. So here I'm getting as close as I need to get. I'm going to turn off the move mode. I'm going to select the brush. and. Uh, Round brush is fine. Size, that's probably good. And I'm going to brush in around the edges, around the kitten. And you'll see that it, it actually, what I'm doing is I'm painting the kitten into the underlying layer, which is canvas. And you can, you know, if you reach the edges, you can always turn on the move. Since they're locked, they'll move together. So you're panning and, and scaling. Don't forget to turn off the move mode when you're going back to painting. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide, in order for me to see what I'm doing, periodically I'm going to hide the input layer to see what I'm doing. See, So I'm just going to go around the edges because it's easier for me and then I'll fill it in. So here I outline the kitten more or less. I'm going to hide it again. I'm just going to fill in in the middle. I'm basically just copying the input layer into the canvas. Very nice. Um, if I made any mistakes around the edges, there are different brush modes. By default, you only see two, paint and erase. So there are other modes. I'm going to select erase. I'm going to change the brush into a little fuzzy brush. And go going to go around the edges of the feet to make it look a little fuzzier. I might even actually set the opacity a little lower so it's even more even fuzzier, so you can kind of brush around. The amount of precision you get is really limited by your patience. Like that. So it's a little, a little softer, doesn't look as stark. And here we got a really cute kitten, actually there's a little bit more around the ear. A little white. So it looks like a kitten sitting on my shoulder. Oh, nice. Um, now I'm going to, I want to do something extra here. Um, I want to paint another picture onto this one to complete the uh, this artwork. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Safari. And I'm going to search for, and I already suggest here, 
eye patch for a pirate. I'm going to go to Google Images for this. There's plenty of really fancy eye patches. And I've uh, selected this one. And now, see how Google Images shows the images in this little strip? What you do is you hold on the image. Well, works half the time anyway. You hold the image until the uh, copy command appears. You copy. And then you switch back over to Artifact. And now I'm going to paste into the input layer. And so it replaced the input layer with the picture I just copied. So I'm going to unlock it Oops. and move input approximately where I want it to be. Zoom in a little more. So I lock it together. Zoom in a little more. Turn off the lock. Position it more precisely. All I really want is the eye patch. I don't really care about the other eye. So here we go. I'm going to lock it together and I'm going to brush that. Remember to switch back to paint mode, switch on a different brush, opacity, and now I'm going to brush the eye patch onto the image. There we go. I'm going to set a little smaller brush and go for this little strip. Let's see what we got. It looks a little funky. So, what I'll do is I'll set the opacity lower, choose a little slightly bigger brush, slightly fuzzier, and kind of work it here around the edges. Oops, erase brush. Gorgeous. Look what we got. We got a pirate with a kitten on the shoulder. So there you go. That's a very basic intro. Now we're going to just save it to either photo album or you can email it to your friends or you can post it to Facebook. And I'm going to type a little message. Arr, matey. upload and voila we're done